We're a nonprofit organization dedicated to eradicating human slavery, human trafficking, child exploitation, and child sexual abuse material through disrupting networks and applying data technology and advanced analytics and intelligence. Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming out to the Follow Money Fight Slavery 2022 Summit. My name is Larry Cameron. I'm the Chief Information Security Officer at the Anti-Human Trafficking Intelligence Initiative. I'd like to thank all of Team ATII who made this possible. So we all know that human trafficking, it's a $150 billion a year industry. There's about 40 million victims worldwide. Uh, about 71% are women and uh, girls, and 29% are male and boys. I also want to thank our ambassador sponsors for uh, donating to the cause. Now, what I'm going to go over right now is uh, the Dark Webathon uh, placements. So we've had uh, various placements that are that are being provided uh, first, second, third, there's a fourth, there's an MVP. There's also lots of prizes being given out. Here's some of our tech and awards sponsors that provided software and or training for uh, or software for the actual prizes. So I'd like to thank all of them. There was over $50,000 worth of prizes this year. Total, there are about 360 signups for the Dark Webathon. That was spread across 60 different countries. So, for the CSAM hash challenge, uh, we've had a total of 1,603 submissions. For the cryptocurrency challenge, we had uh, 202 submissions, and we had 187 submissions for the email challenge, which uh, a grand total of 1,992 submissions in six hours. So I'm going to go over the cryptocurrency challenge. So what we were trying to do here was find the identifiable senders and receivers for certain wallets that are found in Project Hades, which is our dark web intelligence platform. So we had a total of 202 submissions. 54% of that is the senders. 46 is uh, that wallet receiving funds. Now for the attribution, majority, 65.8% uh, was actually tagged towards uh, child sexual abuse material. Here are the placements. Uh, first place, Alex Kingston. Second, Alan Bednar. Third, Ryan Dinan. And four, which is the Cobalt Badge, Michael Falls. Now we had another challenge called the hash challenge. So what a hash is, it's a unique signature for each file. Uh, we take those signatures and then we do lookups on them. And what we want to get out of that is we want to figure out if it's a child abuse site or not. So we're going a little backwards. We're getting the hashes. We're trying to determine if they're linked to the child abuse sites or different sites. So majority of them submitted the MD5 hash. Doesn't really matter which one you submit. They're all the same for each picture. So the validation methods. We use multiple validation methods on these. It could be a screenshot of the website without the pictures rendered. We use the website title, our website descriptions, website keywords, content keywords, which are on the page, uh, different selectors like email addresses, there's also categories and tags. So tags are manual and categories are automated. And we have first place in the hash challenge is Beshev Texali, uh, second Brian Hempstead, who won first in her last dark webathon. Rusa Melanin uh, won third, and Miguel Santorino got uh, fourth. The email challenge is next. 
So what we were trying to do with the email challenge, we were trying to find identities. We we're trying to find different social media accounts or phones, et cetera, that are tied to an email account. So here's the number of responses there, 185. It looked like uh, this would be first place 30, second place 25, third place 21, fourth was 11 submissions. So out of the phone numbers, uh, we were able to get 37 phone numbers or maybe 36 based on this one that's twice. So that's not bad. We're able to, you know, then do open source intelligence on that in order to find out additional information. Uh, Facebook, we got 36 responses, uh, maybe got 34. It looks like two of them are submitted twice by different people so this adds another layer of validation linkedin we were able to get 42 responses which is uh which is quite large compared to the others so we can actually go and see their business profiles we're also able to collect 37 twitter accounts based on the email addresses uh, 31 instagram accounts and then the attribution of those, uh, majority of them are child sexual abuse material, about 37%. So that's pretty good. We'll uh, target those, report them to law enforcement. And first place in that challenge was Renato Trabaco. Uh, second place, Dana A. Third place, Sean Rodriguez. And fourth was Michael Lowen. And this must be the MVPs. Nope, uh, the awards. So first, again, here are the people who got the gold badge, Alex, Beshaj, and Renato. Congratulations to, to all of you. Let's see, second, which got the silver badge, Alan Bednar, Brian Hempstead, Dana A. Congratulations. Bronze badge, we got Ryan Dinan. Rusa, Melanin, and Sean Rodriguez. Cobalt Badge, Michael Falls, Miguel Santorino, and Michael Lowen. We also have some uh, MVPs here. Alex Kingston, Beshaj Texali, Renato Trabaco, and Dana A. And... I got a judge badge because I'm the one that judged all the submissions. Uh, the rest of the participants that were able to submit at least one challenge received a dark webathon badge. And uh, due to timing, a lot of people wanted to keep on working on it. So I enacted a new challenge called the lightning round. Now what the lightning round is, you have to continue on and uh, you, you can stop whenever the until the software gets shut off, but you're pretty much just doing the exact same thing that you were doing during the challenge, but there's no time limit there. It's an extra set of badges. So we have first, Beshaj, Texali, Michael Falls, Flora Teo, and Alex Kingston. Uh, they won first, second, third, and fourth. We're also having a Maltigo challenge right now. Uh, I think that is cut off on the 24th, so we're just starting to see some stuff come in uh, on LinkedIn. Be sure to check out the hashtag made with Maltigo and you'll see all the submissions. Here's just the criteria. Essentially, you just need to create a graph, use the hashtag, and you can email it to marketing at Maltigo can tag them on Twitter or LinkedIn. Here's the second part of that. So it's just an example. And last but not least, be sure to get your swag in the, the vault on uh, Cyber Exchange. So next uh, competition will be having swag uh, different swag competitions so you'll take your picture with your swag and you'll post it and uh, the winner will get a prize
and that's all that we have for now. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us at uh, you know the 2022 summit, and I look forward to the next time.